Hello, uh, this is my first video. I wanted to share what happened at my mom's funeral. Um, I'm taking this on my laptop. I don't know how good the visuals are going to be. I've, this is my first video I've really ever made. Um, I do have one from a cell phone on Halloween, but anyway. Um, my mom died on September 8th of uh, 2013. And today is January 2nd of 2014. Um, me and my mom were real close. I talked to her all the time. Um, we argued normal, normal parent-child relationship, I suppose, but we were real close. Um, and everyone that's close to me, everyone I know, uh, knows that I'm real a sensitive person. I I pick up on things. I've I've had some really odd experiences. I picked up on where people have died before. I've felt other people's feelings. I've just known things that I shouldn't have been able to know. For whatever reason um, so my mom knew this and like I said people close to me have always known this because things happen when I'm around people so my mom and I had talked 10 or 12 years ago about whoever dies first let the other one know in a dream with your smiling face um, that you're okay so like my mom passed away I having a dream of my mom's smiling face and so I know she's all right and vice versa so at my mom's funeral I'm trying to maintain which just happened to be on 9-11 of all freaking days um, I'm sitting in the front row and there's this little wood wall thing in front of me and I'm just trying to maintain composure this is my mom's funeral my mom's gone and uh, so I'm sitting there and I'm just trying to like okay deal you're at your mom's funeral just deal and I had my ex beside me and some family members on uh, to the right of me. And so I'm sitting there and I'm I'm just kind of staring ahead and I can feel myself like trying to relax and uh, I'm just kind of staring ahead and um, Shall We Gather at the River started playing. Uh, that's one of the songs that my sister had picked to be played at my mom's funeral because it was played at my dad's funeral who died in 1977. And so I'm sitting there and this song starts playing. And I feel myself, feel like I'm getting smaller. I feel like I'm shrinking, which is odd. And I, I start thinking about my mom's smiling face. I, I'm just trying to picture my mom's smiling face in my mind. And as I'm sitting there, I, I feel like I'm getting smaller and smaller. And as I'm looking forward into this wood wall thing in, ahead of me, I... Um, I kind of start seeing my mom's face kind of fly through my vision. It just kind of zipped by my vision and then zipped by my vision. And it was just her face from, from this view right here. And so I'm watching this. And as I'm watching this, everything else starts to kind of fade away around me. And I can still hear the music. I can still hear Shall We Gather at the River playing in the background. And I'm watching my mom's face kind of zip around in my vision. And it's almost like this fog rolls in, and my mom is, her face is zooming around in this fog. And so right about here in my vision, my mom's face stops, and she turns to me. Or, or she, she, she stops right there in my vision, and she's she, she smiling, and the fog seems to kind of disappear, and... Around her, I can see like this grassy hill sort of going up to like this big crack in the sky with all this light coming out of it. And my mom is sitting there, or standing there, should I say. She's standing there, and I would say she's probably, I don't know, eight or ten feet away. And her face is just stopped. And then she turns, and she's just has this wonderful look on her face. And um, she's my my mom would always call me by my initials, which was JP. And she said, uh, JP, I love you, but I have to go, and I'll be looking out for you. And when she said this, I'm kind of in disbelief. I'm watching my mom talk, and this was an upgraded version of my mother. I, I don't know how else to put it. Um, I've never seen my mom look so content or happy in my life, and uh, 
so she's standing there and my mom had a lot of problems while she was alive she was an alcoholic she had religious issues that she battled um, and so my mom is standing, this upgraded version of my mother is standing in front of me and uh, she says JP I love you but I have to go and I'll be looking out for you and with her left hand she reaches and when she reaches she's kind of reaching to the side of her not toward me but to the side of her and when she does that I kind of zoomed back and it was like I was looking through some a window it was really weird I could zoomed back and she took somebody's hand and when I zoomed back I saw the hand that she was taking was my dad's hand um, and so my mom and my dad are standing there, uh, and right kind of between them is like up this hill, and it's kind of a grassy hill, and there's like trees over there, and it's like, I don't know, maybe some flowers or something. It's like a manicured, like a, a golf course up this hill toward this beaming light coming out, um, and it was like there was a big crack in the sky coming down to the bottom of where this this light was. And so my mom takes my dad's hand and she looks at this light. And then she looks back at me like, look at this thing. And she's just grinning. She has this in intense smile and grin on her face. And she takes my dad's hand and my dad turns and she says, I love, he says, I love you, son. And then they both turn and they start to walk up this hill toward this thing. And uh, at that moment when my dad said, I love you, son, apparently I was screaming in the funeral. Um, my ex had put his arm around me and I come back because somebody grabbed my shoulder and was saying, you got to get a hold of yourself. Just calm down. Breathe. It's going to be okay. Just breathe. I was literally gone. I mean, the song was still playing, so it couldn't even been a few seconds. But uh, I felt so small in the presence of this I literally felt like I was going down and there was just this vastness all around me and there was there was no fear I wasn't afraid uh, I, the whole thing I've talked to several people about it and they gave me their you know opinions most people think that it was a gift because the, the night before my mom died, I was uh, talking with a bunch of people and I was really upset because I knew my mom was going to die. The doctors had gave her three months up to that point. And uh, she went three days from the time they gave her three months, which was kind of odd. But um, I talked to a bunch of different people and they said that it was a gift um, and people lived their whole lives wanting to experience something like this. Uh, for me, it was absolutely real that I, when my ex actually grabbed me and put his arms around me, and I had no recollection of him doing that until it was I was just there in it. And I've asked him what his thoughts were on it, and he said, um, I got quiet and I got still and and I got kind of cold. And I know that w when someone grabbed my shoulder and I come back, I was freezing I was freezing I was shaking uncontrollably and I could barely speak uh, my mom like I'd said earlier my mom had a lot of religious issues and due to that I've kind of pushed religion away um, but I will tell you that this has given me a lot of peace about my mom's death I miss her I still love her but I absolutely believe that my mom is in a better place um, I never, I like I was always just against anything like this, but I, the only, it makes sense to me that I saw my dad get my mom and walk her into the afterlife. So, um, excuse me, um, it was a very, I'll cherish this memory and the intensity of it for as long as I live. 
Um, and I wanted to share that. I, I think it's I think it's important um, because, like I said, it was absolutely real to me. And I I'm science minded. I'm math mathematically minded. I've uh, <coughs> doubted it a little bit. I've I've went back and forth on was this real? Was I? It was a stress induced hallucination. Was I just overcome? But I'm telling you, I've had lots of experiences before. I've picked up one time where a guy committed suicide and blew his head all over this wall and I picked up on that and I picked up on where a lady uh, got beat in the head with a hammer and thrown into a fireplace and I picked up where a guy got stabbed with a, uh, a screwdriver and thrown out in the woods. I've, I've found all these things with no fourth knowledge but this was the, this was different. This was the most intense thing that I have ever felt in my life. It was, I've, I was kind of feel like I was taken to the edge of myself. I, when I was going down, when it all started, when I'm sitting in the front row, I could feel myself like opening up and I didn't fight it. Normally I'll kind of fight it if I'm like in a crowd or something, I'll kind of try and turn it off. But I was at my mom's funeral and I didn't really fight it for whatever reason, I just went with it. And uh, I got to see my, my mom, an upgraded version of my mother. Uh, literally walking into I guess what would be considered his heaven there were no pearly gates there was no Jesus no angels no nothing like that it was just beautiful landscape and this hill um, and this big beaming crack just it was like a crack in the universe and I mean uh, I've talked to people and that you know that know me and have said that it sounds like to them that it was like coded right for me to be able to make sense of it um so uh, i appreciate you listening if you've watched this far um I, like i said again i just kind of wanted to sh to share that story with you i don't know if anybody else has had similar stories i've watched a few other videos online that i've managed to find and uh, some of the people are so blank and there's just nothing to them when they're telling their story. And I don't understand that. Mine was so powerful and so overwhelming and so over, so over emotional. Um, I've never felt anything so strong in my life. And I don't, some of these other videos I've watched, I don't know how somebody could have an experience like this and not feel this overwhelmingness to it that they're not showing, which I don't know, it just ma doesn't make sense to me, but... <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry for the long video, and I hope you've enjoyed my my story. And um, if if you have any you know similar com similar experiences, <clears throat> um, you know leave them leave them in the comment section. Um, other than that, uh, I appreciate you visiting my video. Thank you.